Okay, this is Mario with Via Microflight again. <clears throat> and in this video, you are viewing the Tanarg, which is a micro light in the upper scale, you know, the real micro light made by air creation. And so I decided to uh, bite the bullet again and do a frame based on the original frame of the Tanark. Now the Tanark is not a simple frame like the, um, you know, like the Trek, which is the one behind there. That's the Trek. This is kind of my own that I did a while back. You'll probably see some other stuff that I'm working on in the back here. But this is the Trek and I fitted already with the pilot. Let me bring the, the track over here so we can see the difference here. <clears throat> and this is the track. Also made by Air Creation, the real thing. And it's got, you know, my own uh, my own suspension there. Yeah. And when you go from the real thing to something that needs to fly, radio control, you know, you can't make it exactly like the real thing. So there's a lot of creativity and re-engineering that needs to be done in order to arrive at a model that is uh, uh, airworthy and also flyable and durable. Now, I like my models, dur durability is, is a key in, in, in a lot of the stuff that I do. Uh, and it's a balancing act that uh, you know you have to do when you design models, radio control models, uh, and you wanna make them as realistic as possible. And the balancing act comes you know, from uh, getting creative with some of these components, the parts, and the way uh, these things are manufactured and assembled. And so this one was inspired by the Air Creation Trek. It's got the uh, basically the, the dual seat. Pilot sits in the back. I don't have the other seat here, but you, know, you can get an idea. This is the original pilot, the, uh, the original prototype actually that I show in a lot of videos of the MIA 1.25 trike, which is also another RC Microlite. Um, basically the same pilot. This is, uh, you know, once again, I had to get a little creative here with some of these parts here because I wanted durability here, but you can see the landing gear, it's got suspension there and it's got suspension at the back. And I never intended to produce this in a kit form. And so I had put this uh, project aside um, for a while, for a long time. Uh, but recently I decided to just go ahead and, and finish it and uh, although I still like the 1.25 easy tracks because they're you know as the name apply easy it's very easy assembly very easy setup and, and very very durable and so I decided to uh, uh, finish this one you know considering the uh, the fact that I already have wings and I already have you know pilots and so all these things are adaptable to all these things that I had before, before I did the 1.25, you know, uh, way before. And so uh, a lot of uh, the parts that I'm reusing, for example, this part right here is the motor bracket that I use on the 1.25. It's been fitted the same way as I do the 1.25, you know, with the aluminum um, tubing that I use square in, in round tubing. So this is the track inspired by Air Creation. And uh, this one right here is the, uh, also inspired by air creation, is the Tanarik. So let me put the photo uh, behind it so you can get a perspective of how these things are, you know, they come about. And like I said in a previous video, you know, this is my sort of my, uh, my palette, my uh, color and, and brush palettes. You know, I have little parts and all sorts of sizes and, and tubing already pre-drilled, pre-bent. And hardware and some of these parts are also reused you know from other products uh, these are the seats from the uh, Quicksilver ultralight that I sell in kits you know I just brought it in here and so that's what I'm doing right now I'm fitting it for the dual seated uh, uh, Tanarg but let me just uh, say that uh, this actually did not start like this I mean uh, I also say in, in some of my videos that you know, the, the way I like approaching it at scale models is, you know, I, I like to start with a rough interpretation of the the actual um, aircraft, of course, in scale. And uh, from there, you know, I go to a second prototype and then I go to a final prototype because there's always some tweaking that you, you just don't see it when you're, you know, doing the drawings or, you, you know, when you're working with photographs or even, you know, when you have a, a tangible first um, prototype or mock-up. And so that information 
preliminary information that needs to be done before you get to something like this. This is a finish up. And, and this is still go undergoing a little, little tweaking here and there. But this is kind of my second one that I worked from the drawing. It went to it went to this particular one. Okay, so we can see from the photograph how the first one I did was this one right here, and I did the profile of the center section right here in fiberglass. And I did this rather quickly just to get an, an idea how this was going to uh, turn up in, in uh, you know, for dimensions. I don't have the real aircraft in front of me, so I work directly from photographs that I get from the internet or from direct from the, you know, the companies. But, you know, I, I like working with side drawings, and if I can get a side top in, in, in front of you, you know, that's all you need, basically, for creating models. So, from this side view, I created this profile here, which is what you're seeing here. And then from there, you know, I, I built a frame. This is the, the aluminum tubing that I had at the time. It's a little too wide for this scale. Um, and so I ordered some new material, and then until I was waiting for that, I, I did this. And it gave me a good representation of the model and what I could expect and where I could tweak and make better. So I did this, and although the, the actual uh, cover or the body is going to hide a lot of these things, I still went ahead and decided to do the frame just like the Tanark is, is done. So if we were to superimpose this frame right on top of that, you can see that you know, I retained the same geometry, the same uh, dimensions except that this frame is now, you know, all tubular, just like the Tenaragas. And I really like this frame here. Uh, I'll keep this for, you know, for, you know, sometimes these things just sit in my garage and maybe I'll sell it. Uh, I don't know when I'm done with this and then somebody can just, you know, uh, finish it. You know, uh, I'll, I mean, these seats work f with, with either one of them. So this is the one that I'm, I'm working on right now and trying to finish. So once again, this is Mario with me on my flight. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.